In this episode, we are going to be implementing a lean feature similar to games like Amnesia The Dark Descent, so that way the player can peer around corners or obstacles and see if there's something of interest. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. So, if we are going to implement the ability for the player to lean to their left or right around corners, the first thing we're going to have to do is bind our controls. So go ahead and go into your project, project settings. I have it here in the input map, um, it's a tab up at the top, so you'll probably launch on general, go to your input map. You see we have all of our forward, back, left, right, all of our controls. We just need to add two new actions, lean underscore left, lean underscore right. I'm going to go ahead and bind mine to Q and my, uh, bind my lean left to Q and bind my lean right to E. If these buttons are already taken in your controller, that's fine. You can do whatever buttons you prefer, maybe the one and four buttons. Okay, so now that those are done, we're going to go ahead and edit our player script to add some variables. So I'm going to go ahead and add a comment, and I'm just going to call these the leaning vars. The first variable we need is var underscore lean angle. This is a float, and I'm going to set this equal to 12.0. This is how much the camera is going to tilt in degrees. Um, the next variable that we need is the lean underscore offset, which is also a float, and this is going to be uh, 0.25. And this is actually how far the camera is actually going to move sideways. So the camera is both going to rotate and kind of move offset from where it is. As you can see, that's why it's such a small number, but it kind of helps you get around those corners a little bit better. Um, the next variable that we're going to need is our lean speed, and this is going to be a float, and I'm going to set this to 8, and this is just how fast the player, um, it, we're going to lerp, how fast the player lerps from uh, leaning back to normal and from normal to leaning. Um, then we're going to need some variables to keep track of where we're leaning and what we're trying to lean to. So our first one is our target underscore lean. This is also a float, and this is going to default to 0. Um, this is going to be representative of um, which side we're trying to lean to. So uh, minus one is the left, and then one is the right, and then obviously zero is back to normal. Um, so we're going to keep track of this in the input function, and then when we're doing our update camera, this is when this is actually going to come into play. Um, and then finally, we need to keep track of a current lean variable because we are going to be interpolating through our movement, and so that can just default to zero. And I think that's all the variables we need. All right, so like I said, we need to keep track of if we're trying to lean to the left, trying to lean to the right, or we've let go of the buttons and we're trying to go back to normal. So down here in our input method, this is where we get our uh, mouse motion and where we're also able to quit the game. Um, this is where we are going to uh, check if the player is pressing the Q or the E button. So we're gonna go ahead and check if the input dot is action pressed um, and the first one is going to be left so we're going to say if they're trying to lean left then we're going to say our target lean is equal to minus 1.0 the other option is that the player is trying to go to the right so we're going to say is action pressed and this is the exact same except we are doing lean underscore right and if the player is trying to lean to the right we're going to say target lean equals 1.0 and then if the player is pressing neither of these, we should be trying to go back to normal from a lean. So we're gonna say our target lean is equal to zero. And just because I've gotten some comments with people struggling, make sure this is, is action pressed. This means the player has to be holding down the key. And so um, every frame that the player is holding down the key will be trying to lean to the left. Uh, we don't want this to happen only once, we want this to be a continuous process. All right, so now that we know which way we're trying to lean, the only thing we need to do now is actually to update where the camera leans. So go down and find where you're updating the camera. I have mine in an update camera function. Um, so here we have the different player states that's going to set the head position, and we also have the head bobbing. Now, personally, for me, I want to be able to lean when I'm crouching, and I also want there to be a head bob if I'm running while leaning. I don't know if anyone's actually ever going to run while leaning, but I think that makes a lot more sense, at least for uh, my use case. So down here, I'm just going to put a little comment that says that this is the head lean code. And we want to do this before we set the camera uh, field of view as well as playing the footsteps because this is all kind of our camera setup logic. Um, so let's go ahead and say that our current lean 
is equal to uh, lerp because we're going to be interpolating over this value. So we're interpolating our current lean. Um, we are interpolating it towards our target lean and we're doing that at a rate of delta times lean speed. Okay, so this, once again, this update camera fires every frame, so we want it to be relative to delta, and we want to be going from where we are to where we should be. So our target lean, if we're going to the left, we wanna go from zero to minus one. If we're going to the right, we wanna go from zero to positive one. All right, so we need some more variables. The first one we need is a variable that is going to be target underscore tilt. This is also a float. This is equal to degree underscore two radians. And this is going to be minus the lean angle, and we'll talk about why in a second, times the current lean. So after we get the target tilt, the next thing we need to do is get the target offset. So we're gonna create a variable uh, target offset. This is also a float, and this is equal to the lean offset. That 0 0.25 value we calculated times the current lean. And now the last thing we need to do is actually affect where our camera's position and rotation is. So we need to use our camera underscore 3D, which is a reference to our camera. We need to set the rotation dot Z equal to lerp because we always want this to be smooth. Um, we're going to go ahead and just copy this. And we're going to lerp the rotation of Z. Uh, we are gonna lerp it from uh, its current position towards the target tilt, and we're going to do that at a speed of delta times the lean speed. And so that handles our rotation. And then finally, we need to do our camera 3D dot position dot X is equal to lerp. Uh, and this is going to be lerping from our current X towards our target offset. Once again, at a speed of delta times lean speed. So let's go ahead and talk about what the code is doing here. So our current lean is just keeping track of a value between minus one and one. So for instance, if I have just started the process to lean to the right, my target lean is probably something like 0.25. My current lean was at something like 0.0, .0 and I'm heading towards 0.25. And then the next frame, I'll be at 0.25, and I'll wanna be heading towards 0.50 and that kind of makes it a nice smooth motion. So our lean angle, remember we set that to 12 because that is the angle in degrees we want the camera to rotate to. We need to transfer that into radians because we are going to be using the target tilt to modify the rotation. And we need to be multiplying it by the current lean because we are taking the rotation value and multiplying it times the current lean, which could be read as a percentage. So if I am fully leaned to the right, I am at a 100% right lean. That means my degrees should be at 12. If I'm leaning to the right, but I'm going back to normal and maybe I'm only at like a 50% right lean, then my lean angle should be six. And of course, the same goes for the target offset, which actually moves the camera to the left or the right. Um, we don't need to do any math to uh, translate that into a radian value, so we just take the offset value that we set at the top of our class and multiply it by the same current lean percentage. So I'll kind of show you what's happening here in 3D. So here we have our player and here we have the player camera. So obviously the player camera doesn't have any rotation and it doesn't have any position. So what we're saying is when we lean to the right, we want the camera to offset by, and I'll do it down here, by 0.25 to the right, and then at max lean, we also want the rotation to be at 12. So you can see here, when it's at 12, it actually looks to the left, which isn't what we want. We want the player's head to tilt to towards the right clockwise. So that's why we actually need this little minus here, so minus the lean angle. So when we go to the right, we have a positive movement in the X, but we should have a minus 12, a negative movement on the Z, right? And then obviously the same exact logic applies to the position. So if we go to the left, we wanna go minus two five to the left, and we want to go a positive 12 in rotation. So it's a little bit strange, but the rotation is positive when you are going counterclockwise and negative when you are going clockwise. So that's why we need the little negative, but that's essentially what we're doing with these two calculations is we're just figuring out where we're trying to go with our tilt, where, we're, where we are trying to go with our offset, and then applying it to the camera's rotation and applying it to the camera's position. And that's everything we need to get this working. So let's go ahead and run the game. 
Here we are. I'm going to run over to this wall here. Let's say there's a monster behind there. I press E and I lean to the right. Come over here, press Q, look to the left, and everything's nice and smooth. And for me, as you can see, I can still walk up against the wall and I have a head bob. In fact, let's go ahead and do this. I can walk up against the wall with a head bob. I can do it crouching. This also works on my left as well. And of course, this should also work with all of our interactions. So if I grab a note here and I go back and forth, the note comes with me. I can also lean in to grab the note. I can come over here, grab the items while leaning. And then if I pick up the box, let me do it uh, up against this door here, and I put E, you can see the box kind of comes with me there. So our objects are following us. And that is how you do a simple camera lean for your player controller in Godot. <laughs>